Hi, my name's Nick Burnham and I'm here for motorboat and yachting this month aboard a Sunseeker Portofino 48. Now this boat replaced the Sunseeker Portofino 47 and the big change between the two boats is down in the cabin. But we'll come to that in a moment because the first thing to talk about is up here in the cockpit. Now the boat we're on here is a pretty standard layout. It's got a big sunbed at the back of the cockpit with a gouge underneath that'll take a Williams 325. But actually there was an optional layout. It's pretty rare but they did do a version without the sun pad and with seating that went right to the back of the cockpit. But that said, on this size boat, of course, you still get plenty of seating with this layout and you get a nice wet bar just here, so you're not exactly short of entertaining space. Uh, another option worth talking about is the hardtop above me. Most of these boats have got it. It's got a very nice carbon fibre opening roof section, but they did offer this boat as an open version, so there are one or two of those out there as well. At the forward end of the cockpit, the business end here, where there's a double helm seat, as you'd imagine. And interestingly, they've put a forward-facing seat over on the port side. So four people can sit up here facing forward, but they've raised the height of the floor on that side so that you still get plenty of space in your mid-cabin. Now, another thing just worth mentioning on this boat, it's quite interesting, is this one's fitted with dynamic positioning. And what that does is you can hit a button on the IPS controller and it will actually lock the boat in place. So when the wind's blowing or the tide's running, if you're waiting for a lock or you're trying to put some warps out before you come to your berth, it will actually hold the boat in place. But it's worth noting that all of the boats come with the switch for it. Just because it's got the switch doesn't mean it has a dynamic positioning. The telltale giveaway is a rugby ball shaped antenna up on the roof. If it's got that, chances are it's got it. Now the other thing to talk about here while we're up at the business end is of course engines. This particular boat is fitted with a pair of IPS 600s as, as you might expect and that gives the boat about 30 knots. However, there was a fairly rare option for a triple IPS 600 installation and that gives the boat mid 30s. It is fairly rare mainly because it was an £80,000 upgrade when the boat was new but if you want that extra performance that's one that you could look out for. So, what are the differences between this and the Portofino 47 that it replaced? Well, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the big differences were down here in the accommodation level. And the big news is this is one of the first boats of this type to have the full beam master cabin back aft in the centre of the boat. The 47 had that as the guest cabin with a pair of transverse single beds and your owner's cabin forward. On this one, they swap places and it's a much bigger master cabin back aft on this one and then you have your guest cabin forward with scissor beds that will turn that into a double if you want it. In the centre of the boat here, well, there's a big saloon area where I'm sat and you've got your galley opposite and both of the cabins have their own ensuite. Now there are three different wood types in this boat. This is the oak we've got in here, it's very nice. There's also a walnut and a more traditional cherry finish. It works very well, it's a very spacious boat, it's very nicely put together and it feels very comfortable down here. The only thing perhaps you might notice compared to the very latest boats is there aren't quite the windows that you get on some of the very latest boats. In fact, a few of these had an option of a very slightly larger porthole. But in 2013, that was changed altogether. Sunseeker brought out the San Remo, it was based on this boat, the layout was pretty much identical but there are a lot of detailed changes and one of them was to bring the window line, there's some pretty big windows in the master cabin in this boat, forward. So you have windows right down the side of the boat and that gave you much bigger windows here in the saloon. And while they were about it, on the overhead, this one's got a small hatch above us here but on the San Remo there are big glass panes that go across below the windscreen and that throws a lot more light in here. Another thing they changed on the San Remo is you had an option where this U-shaped dinette area just here could be replaced with a straight settee that went down here and it was a Pullman style so the backrest lifted up that gave you two berths and then you could concertina a partition across to make this a third cabin. It's a fairly rare option but there's a few boats out there that have it. One thing you don't get on the San Remo, however, is the option of triple engines. They only did that on the Portofino 48. It wasn't a hugely popular option, so on the San Remo they dropped it. They're all twin IPS 600. Beyond that, it was detail changes, really. So they lifted the, uh, the detailing, some of the stainless steel work down here, and the shape of the steps, that sort of thing, were changed. And the helm, this one's got a twin tier helm. The San Remo has a triple tier helm, which gives you more room for the MDF screens, which of course are becoming ever more popular. Now, of course, the San Remo is still very much in production, but 
having come out in 2013, they're tricking onto the second hand market. There are a few of them out there. And they're a fantastic boat without question. Beautifully finished, very modern, and a very stylish machine indeed. But I certainly wouldn't rule out these Portofino 48s. So I'm sat here now on a really comfortable, absolutely immaculate example. It gives you everything that certain Remo does. It might not have quite the super modern finish and the big windows, but it does of course come in at a lower price point and it does offer pretty much the same experience out on the water. Thank you.